<laughs> it's time for war. What is up everybody, it's your guy Gimmick and welcome back to World Arena Roundup. I just wanted to give a huge thank you for all the support on the first video. I'm glad you're enjoying the series and thank you all for your submissions so far. So we are now in the indomitable season and it looks like Mediator Kawarik is going to be the next skin. And uh, you know, personally speaking, if I were to do a cosplay, I feel like if I just got my hair, there we go, right? I think I could, I think I could pull something off. Well. We'll have to see how the looks when it's showcased at the end of the season, but personally, I am very excited. Some of you on the official Discord might actually know that Hand Guy is my profile picture because, uh, it might be a constant reminder that I haven't built him yet. I just need the gear, guys. Trust me. But for the sake of the skin, I will be reaching Masters this season, and that is a promise. Don't quote me on that. But without further ado, let's get right into what you, the community, had to show for this episode. Well, to start us off, coming from Dingo Flango is none other than Bunny Dominial and Challenger Dominial on the battlefield. A rather quick RB seems to kick off the match, dealing quite a bit of damage to the whole team. But now it's B-Dom and C-Dom's turn to pop off, and, well, I'm sure you know where this is going. <laughs> However, the match is far from over. Dingo uses Auxiliary Losses S3 and crits the opponent's Arby, which accidentally kills him. And now, you may be aware of what's... approaching. But wait! The opponent's Arby doesn't actually crit Sidom, giving Dingo one last coin flip to make something happen. And she hits! They soul burn beat on for the 100% effects chance and... resisted. Ouch. I mean, surely it's over now. And Dude, then? Footsteps of yeah. destruction. Huh? Arby S1s again, and they... They don't target Sidon? You know, this had me scratching my head quite a bit, but nonetheless, a really fun combo from Dingo Flango. And props for getting their Sidon at max crit damage without going over the cap. I approve. Up next, a rather tricky Jacko that gives us quite a treat. Here we have Azeroth's Jacko and a unique set of support heroes in a risky solo DPS against their opponent's team. The match starts with Celeste's speed imprint, allowing for a good speed advantage, with Bland and Celeste securing the first turns to debuff opponents and deal a little damage. And here comes Jacko to say sayonara to Ed. Managing to take him out before equivalent exchange can trigger. And even though their opponent's Apocalypse Ravi takes her turn to revive Ed later in the match, here comes Jacko again, ready to drive them away. Now, what I find so interesting about this draft is the constant cycling of buffs and souls using Unseen Observer, letting Azeroth rack up a ton of souls for Jacko's Soulburn. This lets Jacko's passive trigger often when the opponent is stunned. This is a very clever draft from Azeroth, and I look forward to seeing more creative teams like this in the future. Our last clip comes from Judai, who had the chance to fight against one of E7WC's runner-ups, Hui. And here, things look a little grim for Judai right from the start. Zio, with the power of the Chosen, takes the first turn and silences Judai's A-Rali. Yukin gets to push herself up, thus sliding herself right into the second turn. It starts to snowball quickly, with Yukin soul burning S2 and then using S3 to wipe out A-Rali and reset her own cooldown. But, wait a second, is that a Warhorn? That's right, C. Lilia slides right through to take her turn now, managing to drag their standing for the dual attack and wipe the Eta out before they can take their turn. And even though AOL gets the silence, it's already too late. Stenny soul burns and knocks out Yufin where Kui throws in the towel. Short and sweet, but honestly, I don't think I'm alone when I say I wish I could just slice a cleave team in half. Well, it looks like we reached the end for this episode of War. As always, thank you all for your submissions. And if you'd like to be a part of the action, visit the link down in the description and comments below. As a special bonus, all players who successfully submit a replay will receive three leaps per episode they submit to. So now's your chance to bring your best, and maybe you'll be featured in the next episode. If you like this kind of content that we're creating, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe for future episodes. Well, that's gonna be it for me. As always, it's your guy Gimmick, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace and war.